Hi, my name is David Alidiozzi and in this video I want to show how it's possible to use mainline for a convert uh, uh, shaping hair to uh, a real air system inside of Maya 2016. For this tutorial I use a script that already included in uh, in main line from the first version and is rain cure from hedges. Rain, rain, rain cures from hedge is a batch converter that lets you convert uh, a multiple edge selection to curves. This is a, a very powerful way to um, take mesh and convert in curves. In, in particular, take edge mesh. Uh, I want to show you the basics of this tool. I press Z, right mouse button, oh, sorry, Z, left mouse button. I have my whole American menu, polygon, sphere, and I draw my sphere. Now I can use my contextual uh, hotkey to entering in component, in multi component selection. So I press Z and release and make a double click uh, around some hedges. Press Shift uh, to, head, to add. Uh, uh, some other edge loops. So I can press Z, right mouse button, and now opening up curves from hedge. Curves from hedge is the name uh, I want to add it uh, to uh, rain curves. Very good. Now we have uh, a sum of uh, curves, uh, sum of circular curve. All this curve is connected to the to the shape of the object. So if I press select, them, for example, face. Uh, Press B for entering in subselection, W, and uh, deforming my object. Uh, you can see my curves uh, following the object. Very good. I can show you another example of this. Uh, in most of the case, uh, it's possible to create uh, the hair in, in, in a relatively fast way, directly to create, for example, a plane by subdividing it uh, sometimes and create some kind of laminas. So from here I can create, uh, I can take, uh, take, take this edge uh, using the soft selection, bend it and uh, after bend uh, as you can see I can give uh, some kind of form to this, to this shape. After that I, I can duplicate it and duplicate again and uh, uh, as you can see, I have created a fast, uh, um, fast uh, simulation of lamina, of polygonal laminal, laminal uh, edges, uh, sorry, uh, faces uh, and mesh. And uh, after I shape uh, all this stuff to uh, really hair, um, to, to, to look like an, as long hair, um, uh, it's possible to have a transparent map uh, to, to to simulate uh, the single strand, the single the single hair, or uh, you can uh, convert it uh, to uh, to curves and use it for create some kind of uh, air system, real air system inside of Maya. Before of the, of, 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 uh, before we can go on, uh, we need to. Uh, combine these objects, so I press Z, right mouse button, I go in the north -est, north -est and add combine, as you can see all the, all the elements are combined, so now I can uh, go under the um, UV text editor, I press ALT 4 to show that as you can see here now, all these elements that share the same UV, of course, I have had one element, I have duplicated, and now everyone is, uh, um, share the same UV. I can now so selecting the hedge, not from here. If you see here, I need to create multiple selection. In this case, it's not a problem because. Uh, um, because all these objects are, are, there are, these are only three objects, but if I have a uh, hundred of, of, of laminas uh, that simulate a complex uh, air shape, of course this can be very, very problematic uh, selecting in this way by hand. So I have to find out another way and uh, uh, for selecting the same edge in all the, in all the position, if uh, the laminas uh, sharing the same uh, the same UV, you can select the hedge directly from UV text editor. So now, if I selecting by uh, hedge and make double click, as you can see, it uh, 
by, by sim simple selection in this way, uh, it, it select only one of, of the hedge. But if I select by using a drag, as you can see now, the dragging mode let me select the same hedge based on the UV. Now press Ctrl to removing the uh, not needed hedge and uh, run up again by pressing Z and right mouse button go from hedges. Now, very fast, very simple, I have the curve in the same position. But why is it so important? I now show you a real demo, a real demonstration. So I can run up a file I'm working uh, ultimately in uh, this is from uh, um, from that 3D library, um, very complex uh, shape uh, that simulate hair. So from uh, this point, it's very difficult to selecting uh, the helmet. So uh, in, in this particular case, uh, there is another problem. As you can see, every lamina have only one. Uh, I have no uh, hedge, uh, no in, in, in between hedge. So if I try to selecting uh, an, uh, an, an hedge, uh, an edge uh, by a uh, 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 total length hedge by double clicking, it uh, take me the hedge loop around the round elements. This is in some ways similar to what I can do here if I have uh, another time a plane. And I do not, uh, um, I do not uh, uh, splitting in, in in the middle and try to take this. As you can see, my select hold the ring on the on the perimeter hedge. So in this case, my the script not work as we expected and create a closet form. So uh, how's possible I convert this uh, real real uh, uh, the real. Uh, working example to real uh, case of study uh, without have this kind of problems of course you need to use the uh, uv text editor in this case all these lamina is already combined together so i can press alt and 4 and select my hodge object as you can see what who, 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 uh, have created this uh, uh, this library make a really good job to um, to dis distribute distribute the UV. Of course, we need the the vertical length of the hedge, and not the horizontal one. So, I want to show you a little portion of that by taking, uh, of course, edge in my UV texture editor, and now I can select this one, and with a little bit of, uh, of time, uh, I can deselect by pressing. Control and dragging uh, is important in this way. Continue to drag this because uh, uh, without the, 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 the dragging selection, you cannot take the overlapping uh, UV elements on the whole hedge. So, so I am removing the horizontal element. Sorry, I'm removing one. All oh, right, great. And I have only these four uh, vertical lines. So these elements. Uh, as you can see, he is uh, relative to some kind of vertical hedge in this position. So now I can uh, press my Z, the right mouse button, and uh, again run up my curve from hedge scripts. Of, of course, it takes uh, a little bit longer because uh, there is a lot more work to do here. There are already uh, great, uh, there are uh, uh, very, very heavy, heavy elements in this in this area. So as you can see, I have created my uh, around 100 uh, curve from the simulation, so now I can uh, hide the original hair. As, as you can see, I have this great uh, flowing uh, curve directly from my. I think so, uh, this is very powerful way to to to, to work. After that. Uh, we need to make another check. I, I isolate just a little portion of this hair. All right. We need another, another check because uh, uh, when you convert edge to, to curve, uh, it, it's it's not uh, no. It is is um, when well, sorry when when uh, in Maya it, it, you try to create a hair system, uh, you need to to check that the curve, the length of the curve, start from the, the base of the hair and ending in the tip of the hair. For do that, I can select a multiple edge, press Z and release for have my... Uh, sorry, this doesn't work correctly based on the selection. 
um, control virtual, sorry. And as you can see now, some of these uh, um, oh, around uh, um, about uh, all, um, all, uh, the, the, there are more more curve reverse than the right one. The right one, uh, as you can see, are, are ending here by the dot. This this square is the base of the curve, so it is this means the, the base of the head, and it is the right the right position for the tip. So now I have another trick for you. How we, uh, you can uh, uh, faster, relatively fast, uh, fix this problem? Uh, you need to select the, all the hair and all the curve and, and uh, reverse the, the curve direction to all the curve. So I press, I select all my objects, press Z and right mouse button, and now from this uh, contextual marking menu, I can uh, uh, click on reverse. This let me reverse the curve direction. So now, as you can see, I can press the right mouse button, uh, control vertex. Uh, sorry, I need to select all my objects, press Z, all right, now work correctly. And uh, now all my objects, all my curves is uh, selected as, uh, as control vertex. Now you can see a lot of curve here as in the right position. Um, especially here, all these dots at the hand of the tip of the hair is right, but uh, only just the. Of course, we can find. We can use the, the inversal method for find it. So it is right, is wrong, and so on and so forth. So how we can fix now? We can need to uh, come back in object mode. Make remember that this one and this one are are reversed, uh, so it's not current not correct, you can go in Alt 3 to Node Editor, press Z and release for have the all the connection and now for these two elements, so these two curves, uh, we need to remove in the reverse curve node. Uh, this uh, reversing the direction of this curve, because now it's in, in, in good position so, of course, there is no uh, totally automatic way to find uh, what curve are reversed and what curve are, are right. You need to, uh, to, to see. And after select the curve, in this case, in this, case this one, go, go here, press this button or Z for context value of key. Sorry, I need to take that in uh, object mode. And now delete the reverse curve direction too. So yeah, every, now I think every curve of this uh, little selection are are in, in, in right shape. No, this is missing. Uh, so I can do this any again. All right, great. All right, very good. Now every curve are in the in, in the correct uh, in the correct configuration. All right, great. Now I can reselect this curve and uh, finally create Z right right mouse button. Dynamics make curve dynamic. This is the first step uh, step you need to make for uh, correctly uh, convert the curve into hair system. Now, uh, as you can see, I have converted my curve into dynamics one. I need to reselect, and from this point, I need to create uh, an hair system, a real hair system. And I want to show you. Uh, what happening here? I have this uh, hair system one, uh, and um, I think so. This is uh, no, it is not enough again. All right, I have these elements. I need to reselect this curve and Z uh, dynamics assign um, hair to curves. Um, so this is the paint effects. This is the the, the, rendering, the rendering element. So you need two commands. One, make curve dynamic, make your static curve a hair system. And this one, make the hair system renderable as hair. So you need to go in assign hair system. And from here, nothing change. But if you select PFX hair and you go under the I system one, sorry, uh, yes, I system shape one. I have here under presenting. I have had two present real scale and real scale dynamics. So what these two elements do is um, is the two presetting that set up uh, this area in in intelligent in smart way to create uh, a 
uh, clamp air, uh, clamp a bunch of clamp of the air, one clamp for curves based on the uh, real uh, real scale. What is the real scale in Maya? In Maya, the real scale every dot is a centimeter. So now uh, this hair is long uh, about. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, I think this hair is long about. We can sh we can measure it by using. Uh, uh, of course, the distance tool about 14 centimeter and now if I take this and uh, um, sorry everything yes the PFX air and uh, go under hair system shape one in this case a press and real rail scale a real scale dynamics real scale dynam dynamics can enable nucleus for simulate the physics now I don't want it I want only the, 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 the rendering elements and the real scale replace and now I have an incredible higher system really the, the details uh, really in really really impressive way to make the hair another really impressive thing is if, is if you re-enable the original hair in this case I want you to remove the polygon at once uh, and uh, and go under the rig the for example for example the the rig of uh, the disjoint are, are uh, sorry um, this, this geometry are skinned to this uh, giant, giant hierarchy on the, on the, on the shoulder and on, on, the, on the head and I can now hide this and move this around as you can see now my dynamic hair following the shape uh, at the base of the of the of the of the element to simulate the air so this is the way I can uh, I create my hair, this the, the long hair. Probably to create uh, um, short hair, the best solution in is XGen. But I think uh, actually um, this this, this um, workflow is uh, is better for for uh, the long hair. Uh, it give you a total control of the hair. So good. I hope uh, you enjoy the video and uh, I hope you find it useful and bye.